Hello there and welcome back to the Kingdom of Leon. We are currently in a pretty uh, good position I'd say. We are more or less now ready to go down south, attack to have seeds, attack... Uh, well, basically try to take everything here. Uh, what, or take what we can before uh, the war is over. We have, unfortunately, not uh, any possibilities of drawing up any more mercs. But we do have uh, our own troops, so uh, I'm not really worried on, uh, on that case. We'll send them all uh, into, uh, into well, our lands, and then we'll first try to take body use, then we'll go for Mercy and Granada afterwards. So, uh, it should be interesting to see how this turns out. Can't really, uh, well, imagine that uh, it'll go too bad. I believe the Rebels are basically even with uh, the Hussein, so uh, this will probably end up in uh, some sort of even fight, so to speak. Got some extra gold, these 200 men are too far away to actually make a difference, so we'll just uh, have them stand down. But yeah, as I said, we'll go after the use here, and then we'll go after the, the Jatabits, or Mercia and Granada. As you know, the reason why I want to uh, want to try and create Hispania first is simply because uh, once I go after West Francia, every I'll have more kingdoms under me that have a gavel kind. And that is scary for uh, several reasons. The first of them is that I'm just going to have a tiny whiny bit of uh, bad luck here and then I lose everything. So uh, that's ma the main reason why I want to uh, try and create Hispania before we go off to West France and such. So uh, we'll go, as I said, go off the, those first and then we'll deal with the other things afterwards. Let's see here. I'm a little bit concerned about who actually started this war. So let's see here. First liberation of Mali. Half Sunnids started it. Okay, they have Sunnids, not to have seats. So I can simply annex this guy without ending the the revolt, which is quite good. So uh, as I said, I'll just go ahead deal with these three uh, wars here, and uh, once I have, I'll uh, I'll get back to you. I don't expect any uh, huge resistance. We have more or less crippled them in, in uh, Spain at least. So. Uh, should be interesting to see how this turns uh, turns out in the long run, but uh, as I said, I'm confident that we'll be able to uh, to win this without too much fuss, basically. And hopefully, this guy will uh, soon inherit because, as you know, I'm old. And once you have good hair, that you actually want to inherit, uh, they usually tend to turn up dead before uh, before too long. So uh, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, to avoid that this time and. Take at least Mercy as well here. Uh, you know, Musarids, they are currently uh, currently taken over for the Abbasids, so unfortunately we can't, uh, can't take them. To speak. My daughter died, well, that's too bad. Uh, worse my son died, so I'm actually confident, I guess I should say. But still, as I said, we'll be sieging this, and once we are done, I'll let you know. We had some luck, we have uh, been able to take Bada Yus, we have been able to take uh, down here. And also we have captured a couple of Dukes and Counts, which uh, has allowed us to get enough money to hire uh, 9,000 Mercs to help out here. And uh, I'm pretty sure that this will help us quite a lot. We'll just go ahead and try to take uh, take this. We probably won't go after anything else uh, in this war, but uh, it is tempting if uh, there's still any revolters off this to use uh, the mercs to go off them as well. But as you can see, we have more or less taken, uh, taken these three counties, and that is more or less uh, a great win. We have almost caught a toss the wild Hussein out Hussein out of uh, out of Spain. And I'm actually tempted to go for a holy war now if uh, everything ends. A holy war for uh, for Seville here. That should basically cripple them so much that uh, they either implode or uh, end some other way. But let's see here. The war didn't end, so we'll go ahead and uh, have the army of the Duke uh, go down. We'll use this army to take all the circus here. And it's believe he only has. We actually have a truce against him. Wow. Well, uh, as I said, we'll declare war on the Husay for. Uh, Seville, there we go, and this should uh, potentially uh, weaken them enough to uh, allow us to kick their asses, and it should potentially also allow me to create the uh, the Empire of Hispania. So, uh, all in all, I think we are on uh, a good streak here. 
don't really uh, that much that could go uh, wrong right now. The only real issue here is uh, money-wise, but still we can keep on going for a couple of years. And we can always uh, do this as well, raise our troops, which is number about 10,000. So, uh, we aren't looking that bad in terms of uh, manpower, but uh, these guys have suffered uh, big losses lately, so that's why there's so few. We'll have them join up and then uh, join the sieges, but uh, until then we'll simply uh, sit quietly and well, watch, I guess. But uh, as you can imagine, this uh, if we take Seville, we have more or less crippled them because Seville is a big duchy. They have uh, a lot of con counties with a lot of holdings, as you can see here. There is five holdings in uh, Seville itself. So uh, going out to Seville will more or less cripple them more than. Uh, does so uh, doing this is probably uh, our best course of action I, I dare say so uh, we'll have to see how this turns out but uh, I'm pretty sure that we'll win this war as well at least as long as they're still in uh, having some revolt issues so uh, it'll be interesting to see how, how things turn out in the end but as I said I'm pretty sure that we'll win this so I'll just go ahead put this one on uh, pause and once we have uh, one lost uh, whatever happens, I'll uh, get back to you and let you know. As you can see here, the Pope uh, enjoys our fight against the heathens here, so uh, we got 200 extra gold coins, but uh, these guys are actually starting to set up sieges against us, so we'll have to uh, have to move against them, but for now I think we'll get the uh, loss we need of uh, war score simply from, uh, from battles, and hopefully that'll be the case here. And I just got maimed, which actually is a, a pretty damn good thing when you think about it, because I want this guy to die soon. He is uh, very persistent, he's surviving, and apparently Alonso has become incapable, which sucks, to put it blank. So yeah, things could be looking better. We'll have to look into uh, if we want someone else than him ruling uh, once uh, we're done with this little war of ours, the Siege of Leda. Okay, so actually guys up there causing issues as well. So yeah, we'll go ahead, try and siege this, get it all done, wrap down pretty, uh, pretty damn soon. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to pull that off, but for now, we'll see add to the Byzantine Empire. Did I... What? What just happened? Wow, this is a little bit of a surprise. The heir to the Byzantine Empire, Ranislav Old Otrokak, uh, apparently Matrinelli managed, managed to run my daughter here, so... Uh, Actually, we can have we can have just place ourselves on the throne of the Byzantines. Uh, how weird that might sound. So it'll be interesting to see how things turn out. If we have done that, uh, it would be very weird because I believe that the AI is well, it shouldn't accept such a thing, but still, it appears it did. So uh, that's good for us. Basically, means that we will have a powerful ally. A powerful, powerful. The Byzantines are pretty much overrun. Now it seems they have uh, started to regain some land, at least, or well, are taking it from uh, from the other here. Hungary is still Tangeri, how about Bohemia? So yeah, we are it's looking a little bit interesting now with the uh, potential uh, air being, uh, being uh, potentially being shot by the sun by soon. Wow, uh, they did not see that. Uh, they did not see that coming at all. So. Uh, and I also have to deal with uh, the fact that my, uh, my son has become a kid. So we'll have to see how we'll deal with that. But now I'll just go and find people who can uh, take these new counties. And until I found them, I'll, uh, I'll keep you on, uh, on pause here so you don't have to actually see uh, me handing out everything. So, uh, see you soon. Well, we kind of have a small dilemma here. Um, two reasons. First of all, is my second son, this guy, is apparently being. Uh, well, at least tried to force uh, into becoming the new ruler of Castile, but uh, I don't think I'll allow him to basically, because uh, well, I don't want to. That's the main reason. Uh, secondary reason is uh, well, secondary and secondary. I still don't want him to. That's basically it. So yeah, I have the claims playing as an incapable ruler. It's been a while since I've actually done that, so I'm a little bit unsure if I can actually force. Uh, was my claims on West France and Aquitaine as him, but it's at least worth a try. My realm will probably get a little bit of a uh, issue here, but uh, I don't really see why we 
I would get into trouble with uh, anyone really. The sign are more or less uh, broken. We broke them back. The Musarids will be some interesting walls, but we'll probably wait for uh, a rebellion or two. But uh, yeah, all in all, I think things are looking out pretty well. We'll just save up some more money. We'll sit by and, well, relax and see how things go. So, my question to you guys is basically this Shall I give it a go as. Uh, an incapable ruler to try and take Akatina West Francia, or should I just uh, well, forgo him and kill him off? Allow the Duke of Castile to take uh, take charge, or uh, what do you guys think? Just uh, drop a comment, say what you want. Uh, it's uh, you know, two days basically, so thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, some praise, criticism, anything you feel like really, and hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.